And there we have Alcamela mollus. Just with raindrops on it. But that's not what I wanted to show you. What I want to show you is this here. Look at these little beauties. There we go. Some strawberries. Merlin. So these ones at the end here were runners which I just put in and now they're putting out little fruit. Hope the birds don't get them, but there they are. They look a little bit strange in shape, but nice. This here is the Dianthus deltoides, I think its name is. And uh, it just spreads all over the place. But, uh, this was just one little clump that I put in here about two, three years ago. Some clover mixed in it as well. It's a lovely little plant. And after about four years, I finally had success with my peonies. I think this one over here was the first one to come out. Now there's this one here and another one over there. There's quite a lot of them still in bud. And surprise, surprise, look at this little beauty. Eringnium. Those are going to turn into sort of blue thistle tops. They're quite lovely and wonderful. I think I've got a couple of them growing here now. They're a great self-seeder once you get them going. And a uh, great sort of cut plant as well. But, uh, you can put in vases for dry flowers. And here we have a foxglove. They just self-seed as well. Never planted these. I'm behind it. My wife's favourite. Some French lavender. She always buys it every year. It's very hard to grow in Finland because it's not winter hardy frost in the cold weather, minus 30 C, kills it off. And this is my iceberg rose, which is just coming into bloom. Blooms for a long period over the summer. A great rose. But uh, in Finland, it also sort of dies back and it has to put on new growth in the summertime. And just next to it is this uh, white potentilla, which I've taken cuttings of. And I'm hoping to grow it and take it to the summer house so we can have it here. This is a long lasting flowering shrub. This is just planted by the door of the house for some colour. This is Johnson's Blue Geranium, a little bumblebee there, enjoying itself. What are you saying? It's nice when there are pollinators about. This is my zucchini in a root pouch and it's beginning to get its first flower on here. Yep. And I expect we're going to have a zucchini soon. 
over here as well. I think that might be a female flower. No, male flower. That's a female behind there with a little zucchini behind it. These are supposed to be very good croppers in a small space. Oh. Volunteer poppies. <laughs> a little bit droopy. Come into my keyhole garden. But it's looking well. It's filling up. Up there I've got another zucchini on top of the bird table. It wasn't doing all that well when it was on the ground. But now that I think it's getting more sunshine, it's going good. That's the time down there. It's clumping up. It's a bit doubled in size. The sorrel, red sorrel, red veined sorrel, Citrona melissa. And these are my Salanova. I've already had one. And these are the brown ones. They're the best lettuce that you can grow. And over here are the Frisella Salanova as well. But, uh, they're not hurting up as much as I thought they should. But uh, they're looking pretty good as well. Petals on the ground. They look like bird feathers. But they're coming off my clematis, which has been quite wonderful for about two weeks now. Big flowers. Excellent looking. But I wish it would go higher. And over here, just beginning to pop, is uh, the climbing rose, uh, flamentans, or dance of flames. But, uh, it's got up to about two meters. But again, the, the winter will come and kill off the canes. But uh, I'm looking forward to these opening. Some of them have got more sort of buds on them than others. There's one there with three about to come out. More volunteer foxgloves. But behind it is this uh, apothecary rose, which uh, is uh, white and pink once the flowers open. Once they open, all the roses seem to be opening at the same time now, beginning of uh, July. It's a lovely rose. Spectacular. It looks like there's lots of blooms and blossoms this year. I think the apple harvest this year is going to be incredible. But, uh, these apples are just so big that uh, so many of them as well. If you look at them round here, all over the place. I should you go and have a look at my graft as well, just to see if it's put on any. There it is. Look at that. That's the graft there. Which I did follow it up. Let's leave there again. Oh, look at that at the tip. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Success. Suntan, this is. Two potato plants. And this one here, you can see, I've given it a haircut. But more about that in a later video. That's what the uncut one looks like. And over here, 
an incredible display of Sweet William. There's one particular one that is almost a brown, chocolatey brown colour. Uh, they're all different colours, great cut flowers. But the one that I like the best, that's Latrius coming up there, Spicia. There should be purple flowers on there. Is this one here? Yes, look at that. That's absolutely great. And behind it, some hostas. More fox gloves. And a little walkway down there with. Diantus and thyme, a purple flower. It's thyme, lemon thyme. This here is Monardia, is it? No, what do you call it? Bees balm. This is one with a, a red flower that comes out. And I made a mistake the last time. This is growing here, and I said that this flower here was also bees balm. But in actual fact it's Perun Kello or Deer's Bell which has got nice blue flowers on it. And again the foxgloves which just seem to appear everywhere. This is my monastery bean from Halvar in Norway. It's up about two meters now, climbing up along the pole and going along it. And here, I think this might be the the butternut squash. They're all sort of flea, female flowers on it. It's quite quite enormous, and it's climbed right up to the top of this frame here and in here if I pull this leaf back I think that's a little fruit forming about one and a half meters off the ground whereas the other squashes that I have are just small and dumpy I think I mentioned it's the Dale Calder that the Hokkaido squash is just rather sort of small and they're not doing anything. That's the Hokkaido squash there. Very small. Inside it, it's got little flowers forming. And right next to it is this monster, which is creeping its way down this bank. I think this is the butternut squash as well, but still I haven't seen any fruit on it yet. There are, there are flowers, but I think they're all male flowers. And some borage which I got from Jay, blue flowers. Now that there is my tomato plants, chili plants and uh, yakon. They're coming on at a great rate. There's the flowers that are forming. No fruit yet, but plenty of flowers. I just hope they're quick developers. Even some flowers on the chilies over there. And the yakons just seem to be burgeoning as well. Burgeoning, that's a good word. So, that's about it for the garden update. Mostly on flowers that uh, because as John Muir said Besides beauty, no, besides bread, we also need beauty to feed our souls.
We need places to play in and pray in for the healing of our bodies and souls. That's it for now. Over and out.